Hello, Internet. I apologize once again for yet another extended absence. I hope you understand that when I take an absence like that, I do have my reasons. A lot has happened since the last update. Uh, I'll try to catch you up as best I can. Uh, I've had not one, but two paracentesis, par paracentesis, paracentesis, to drain fluid from my belly. I, I got one about three weeks ago. Uh, I think I mentioned that in my last video that I was going to get another one. Um, that one pulled out 2.2 liters of fluid. And then I had another one this past Thursday. And uh, that was 2.4 liters of fluid. These seem to be happening more often. The fluid buildup seems to be more rapid, um, and there seems to be more of it, which is bad news, because this is a byproduct of my liver failing. I had an appointment with my oncologist also on Thursday, and we had a very frank discussion about everything that's been going on. Um, he talked about continuing the oral medication, which I will. I have, I have been. Um, he mentioned another form of infusion that I can uh, that I can take. It would be similar to the infusion that I had an allergic reaction to, uh, but it's missing something that I guess comes from mice, and that's the part that when people have a an allergic reaction, that's what they're allergic to. So it doesn't have that in it. Uh, so, uh, chances are it would not give me the same reaction. The side effects are about the same, which would be a, a rash, I believe on the palms of the hands, um, uh, and, um, fatigue. I'm already so fatigued. I, my sleep has not been great. Uh, I'm tired all the time. And yet, when I go to bed, I don't get solid sleep. Uh, I can spend 10 hours in bed, but I'm not getting 10 hours of sleep. I'm getting, like, several naps in a row, because uh, I keep waking up, tossing and turning, uh, trying to fall back asleep. Uh, the doctor, the oncologist, he did recommend Benadryl for that, uh, so I have been taking that. Um, it seems to be helping, but I wake up groggy. I, I wake up still very sleepy, and it takes a while for that to go away. My cough continues and it's been pretty bad sometimes so bad that I'm, I'm like i'm coughing so hard that i'm dry heaving uh i'm spitting up uh phlegm but it's like it's clear like i uh as a matter of fact i had a nasty coughing fit while i was talking to the oncologist and i spit up phlegm in his garbage can so he could like it was kind of kind of a, a good thing because he could see what what it looked like and so he could determine like oh is this an issue or not um <coughs> and uh <coughs> He did, um, he did end up, uh, uh, prescribing me, um, benzo, benzonitate, 100 milligrams. Uh, I take those for the cough and that does seem to be helping, especially at night, which is part of the reason why I've been not getting sleep. It's because I, I, I get, I get these coughing fits. My appetite sucks. Eating is hard because the buildup of fluid, it's pushing on everything, including my stomach, and it's making it difficult to eat. Um, so I've been kind of sticking to very simple things. Um, uh, cereal for breakfast, PPJ for lunch, uh, a modest dinner. Um, I'm losing weight. I am very skinny, more so than usual. I think, I think I'm almost on par with what I was undergoing uh, chemotherapy in terms of weight. Um, not as bad as recovering from surgery that I think I dropped down to 148, 147 was the lowest. Um, right now I'm hovering around 160, um, for frame of reference before I started chemotherapy, I was 180. I've never been a muscular guy, but, um, I was definitely not as thin as I am now. Uh, I had a CAT scan earlier, uh, in the week. And, um, uh, well, I can just read to you directly, uh, from the results. So I have three major tumors in my, in what's left of my liver. And this is in comparison to the CT scan they took back in October. Uh, one of them in October measured 5.1 by 4.3 centimeters. 
it now measures 6.8 by 4.7 centimeters. Uh, one measured 4.7 by 4.6 centimeters. It now reads 5.9 by 5.6 centimeters. And the third one, and this is the biggest change, it was 4.4 by 2.5 centimeters. It is now 6.2 by 4.1 centimeters. So, substantial growth. Like I said, it was a very frank discussion. And we talked about the treatment, um, and we talked about how it really wouldn't do anything to get rid of the cancer. And without getting rid of the cancer, they can't do anything about my liver failing. So my liver is just gonna continue to fail. So they can treat the cancer to keep it at bay, but the damage is done. My liver cannot sustain me. Um, and I pushed for a number because like, I really needed to know. And he finally said that he gives me six months to a year. So there it is. I am now officially terminally ill. Like I kind of knew. Um, when the liver doctor told me to get my affairs in order. <laughs> but that was just sort of like, like I said it to him, should I get my affairs in order? And he said, I think that would be a good idea. I, that wasn't like, you know, a rubber stamp, you know, boom, you're going to die. Um, but I was kind of prepared because it like that, that seemed like where I was headed. So I, I, I think I was prepared for the oncologist to say, you know, six months to a year. However, um, it's still kind of rough to hear that. So I just kind of had like sat and talked with him a bit about it. And, um, and I asked him what I could expect, uh, down the line when it gets to that point. He said that as the liver begins to fail, I'll become jaundiced, yellow skin, yellow tint to the eyes, yellow, um, the the little white parts of the fingernail will turn yellow. I'll feel sick. I'll definitely feel sick. And when that happens, I will have probably about a, a, a few days before I slip into a coma. And then eventually, it could take days, it could take weeks, I'll just die. Yeah, And you know what? Discussing it wasn't that hard in a weird way. I've, I've always been able to keep a lot of this at, at arm's length and see it in a, a, in a sort of dispassionate, objective manner. But I acknowledge the fact that I said to him, I feel a little bad on my part, because all these people, all these professionals, these doctors, they tried so hard to save my life and they couldn't do it. And I know it's not my fault, but the feeling is there. And ironically, that was when I started to tear up, not in thinking about myself, but in thinking about all that everyone put into saving me and it ended up not bearing fruit but i mean they gave me time you know a little bit of extra time and i got to spend time with you know friends and family and yeah i appreciate the hell out of that and in some ways i am also grateful for seeing this coming for knowing how much time i've got left and it gives me the opportunity to get my affairs in order, but also to do things that I've always wanted to do, to get things done, and to make sure that things are as smooth as possible for those I leave behind. I'll be writing up a quasi-will. It's not going to be official. I don't really feel like getting a lawyer involved and... Honestly, I don't think my family's going to fight over my stuff. Um, there are specific items that are going to go to specific people. You know, like Matt's going to get my computer and, and pretty much everything associated with that. And then, you know, certain specific items are going to go to specific people. Um, 
I think the the big thing is figuring out what I'm going to do with my cats. Um, my friend Ryan, uh, who was the one, by the way, who took the pictures of me dressed as a vampire for Halloween, um, uh, he he adores Pazuzu, so I think that she's going to go with him. Maja's the tough one because because she doesn't do well with other animals, apparently, or at least not with not with Pazu. Uh, I've determined that they can't go together. Wherever they go, they can't go together. They don't like each other. But I've talked to Matt. They do have other pets. But I don't really trust anybody else to take Maja, so I'm pretty sure that that's where she's going to go. My dad's going to get whatever pieces of my furniture that he wants. I, I think I've got some nice pieces. I think he would like them. Um, a lot of my wardrobe is going to get donated. But I'm, I'm sure there are pieces that people are going to want. Like I said... I don't think anybody's going to fight over my stuff. Just open the door and let them pick. I don't care. Like, I'll be dead. I won't be around to care. I've got, I've got my life insurance policies, two of them. One is free through work, and another one is also through work, but I pay for it. The free one pays out a substantial amount, and that's going to go to my nephew for college when he comes of age, if, if he decides to go to college. I mean, he can do whatever he wants with the money, but, you know, I hope he uses it for college. Um... And then there's a, a somewhat smaller one, uh, the one that I pay for, and that one uh, is going to go to my dad, and that's specifically to pay for funeral expenses and whatever else needs paying off after I'm dead. I already told my dad, cheapest funeral you can possibly find, because I'm going to be cremated. So, like, it's pointless to buy a nice fancy coffin that you're just going to set fire to, so. I mean, honestly, it's pointless to buy a nice fancy coffin that you're going to be buried in, so. I actually said this to someone recently. What I really wish is, um, I really wish <clears throat> that you could do this uh, here. I saw once online uh, a video that talked about um, people being buried in basically a burlap sack with a sapling uh, of their choice. And as the tree grows, it feeds on your remains and... Like, I don't believe in reincarnation, but in a way, I would be becoming a tree, and I kind of like that. And um, especially with my morbid sense of humor, I kind of like the idea of it being a fruit-bearing tree, because that way when people are eating the fruit, it's kind of like they're eating me. Like, I know that sounds really weird, but it's just, that's, I have this weird, dark sense of humor, and it just tickles me to, to think of it like that. Plus, you could hand an apple to one of my enemies with a note. This is, eat me. <laughs> Love, Daniel. I'm kidding. I don't have any enemies. <coughs> I use humor to deflect a lot of this. Uh, I hope you I hope you guys understand. I'm 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 dealing with it in my own way. I'm going to be making private videos uh, that will go to specific people. Um, to say goodbye in my own way. And, um, and I'm going to be making a video for this channel that will be uploaded upon my death. And it will just, just be to, to let everybody know that I'm gone. And it'll be a, a simple, short message. Nothing fancy, but, you know, just to, just to let you guys know when it happens. Because I don't want to just, like stop updating with you know stop posting videos and then everybody just has to wonder you know I'll, I'll make arrangements with matt or somebody probably matt uh to to post it when it's you know when it's time other than that i mean that's kind of it I, i've got some creative projects that i'm gonna try to get done on time uh i'm gonna try to finish you know some writing stuff that i've that i've always wanted to finish writing um and then hopefully, maybe somebody can posthumously publish it for me or something. Um, but at the very least, I hope it gets out there for people to, to read and enjoy. Um, and, um, <clears throat> and yeah, that's about all. Um, I wish I had better news for you guys. Because this is, this is rough. When I started this channel, 
It was just like a science experiment because I'd never gone through anything like this before. I'd never gone through chemotherapy. I had no idea what to expect. I was this naive child in the face of danger. And so I handled it the way that I tend to handle heavy stuff like this. And so I, I began this channel as like a, a journal to chart my progress. And in, in a way it did help, uh, especially when, when chemo really beat the absolute snot out of me, which it did very much, especially towards the end. And then the channel kind of shifted as I started to believe that I was going to make it. I thought to myself, well, I have this platform now and people are paying attention to me so maybe i can do more with the channel and and i reached out with you know i made comedy videos i made videos of you know me and matt playing video games um i tried other stuff and um people didn't really seem to want to watch that so i stopped um but i think i just i wanted people to know that i was more than just this guy with cancer that i have thoughts and feelings and ideas and plans and and dreams and i guess i just ultimately wanted to to leave a part of me a permanent part of me in the world and you know it's kind of nice that these videos are going to continue to be on youtube I'm assuming for as long as YouTube exists and they don't show any sign of slowing down, so. And and now it's less like proving I exist and, and more like just saying goodbye, you know, a means to say goodbye to the world. And so I think that's what I'm going to be doing with the remainder of my videos is talking not just about my cancer experience but maybe a bit more about me things that you guys don't know and maybe you don't care and that's fine nobody says you have to but i still want to get this out there i i want just one record of me of who i am of who i was and who knows maybe 10 years down the line, 20 years down the line, someone, anyone going through what I'm going through and they're watching my videos and like they come across my channel and they watch my videos and, and it would be nice if the things that I say help them in some way. And I hope that, I mean, even now, I hope that the things that I say on this channel help you whoever you are, whatever you're going through, just knowing that you're not alone. We can be separated by a thousand miles and a thousand days. And we can share something you can't touch. But the beautiful thing about that is that if you can't touch it, you can't break it. Nobody can. It's stronger than you know. And that means so are you. Hold on to that. When you need to. Until next time.